Happy New Year's Eve, everyone. I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna wear tonight and I wanted to just hang out with you and try on a few different options. None of these things are actually new. I don't really, I used to go through a phase where I'd buy a brand new dress every time it was New Year's Eve and it just ended up being such a waste of money because it would be something that I'd more likely than not wear the once and it would sit in the wardrobe for the rest of eternity. So this year, I didn't wanna do it. Some of the options I've got, and some of you are gonna remember these. This is the first thing. This is a needle and thread dress because it's cold or tends to be. I quite like a long sleeve option. If you've got slim legs, but you don't love them, the thing that I do that I really like to do is wear a dress like this, but wear thigh high boots, but they have to be really tight, tightly fitted thigh high boots so they don't add bulk. Like Stuart Wiseman's a really good one. So that's the first option. The second option is an all time favorite. I wore this to a couple of parties last year, actually. It is this, this looks amazing on, it's so nice. This is from Misguided. And actually they've got, I can't remember the name of it, but Misguided have got a line of dresses that look very sort of premium. And this is weighs a ton as well. I will link to the line below because if you have any events coming up, uh, I really, really do recommend it. And the dresses are like, I think this is about 120 pounds. My wild card is a female tuxedo. <laughs> Um, I've got this tuxedo jacket. This is brand new. I didn't actually buy it for New Year's Eve. I bought it for Christmas, but I didn't end up wearing it. This is from Zara. And then I got the tuxedo trousers to match. These have got a matching satin stripe down the outside. So that's another option. Then this. If this works, which it could do, I would be really pleased because it would be a completely recycled outfit that's kind of old. I got this skirt which is a really nice pencil skirt that I got from Whistles. I got this to wear to a friend's wedding in 2014 and it is, I love it. I love the fabric, I love the cut of it. It's like a midi length, so it's just below the knee. But I was thinking about wearing that with this tucked in. It's kind of like a bronze color. This could look really nice tucked into this skirt. So if that works, um, I'd actually be quite pleased with that. This is the kind of thing you can all do at home. I'm sure you've got things that you've forgotten about that you could totally reuse. Here we are with option one. I'm sorry for tilting the camera so you can see it. The only thing I don't like about it is the top is adding, when I tuck it in, the top comes to here. So it's like bulking out around this area. I actually really do like the skirt. I just threw on these shoes with it and I, I don't mind. What do you think though? Let me know option one. This is the next option and I love this suit. Can you believe that this is from Zara? The trousers are just, I mean, I love all of it. To be honest, what I really wanted to wear this with is I've got a lace camisole that is about as high as this, but all of this section's lace and I think that would look better. Length of the trousers is great. The fit of them is good. This can be something that can be troublesome when you're wearing tailored trousers like this. I find if you go too inexpensive, the quality and the fabric isn't good, but these, these are really nice. This is the needle and thread dress. I can see David behind me looking. What do you think? It's lovely. Which has been your favorite? You haven't seen the first one though. What first one? I was wearing a first outfit before you came upstairs. Oh, I never saw it. Oh, okay. I don't know why I asked you because you haven't seen it anyway. Yeah. This is a very comfortable dress and it's very well, I love the embroidery on it. So this is all hand stitched, I don't know if that's coming out and then it's got crystal beads across it. Um, I, I just think this is a good all rounder. I think it's really cute, really feminine. And what you can do in the summer, you can just wear it with heels and then I've just put it with like my Stuart Wiseman boots chose the black ones. Maybe I'll go with the taupey coloured, I'm not sure, but I quite like this look. I feel quite comfortable in it. That's the thing. You want to feel good, but you want to feel comfortable. I think out of all of the ones that I've tried on, all of the outfits I've tried on, this is possibly my favourite. I feel good in this dress. It fits really well. The fabric is really warm. I mean, I've, I've just put this on and I feel really hot already. It's very, it sort of pulls you in, 
but it feels very well made at the same time and this is one of those dresses that I just think for £120 it was such a good buy. So it's got structured shoulders on it and it's got quite a high neckline. I have worn it with these boots, this is how I wore it last year, these are again the Stuart Wiseman boots um, and I think, I think they go quite well. What do you think though, out of all of the outfits that I've shown you, what has been your favourite? Which one do you think I should go for? I don't know, at the moment, I thought I was gonna go for that flowery one, but I'm looking at this and I think, I think it could just be this. I think there's only one point in the year where you can legitimately go dressed in sequins, and this is one of those times. So maybe I do that. But anyway, let me know what you think. I'm gonna be getting actually ready to go out probably in about four hours time. So I'd love to get what you think, just like any sort of feedback. Um, I think at the moment, I feel like this is the one I'm probably gonna go with. I feel very comfortable in it and I feel quite good in it. And I like the floral one, but now I put this on, I feel like the floral one is a bit too, frumpy's not the word, but it's a bit too florally prep, preppy as opposed to party and so I quite like this for that and also this is very warm which is another good thing in case you know when you're like going to and from anyway it's good to like not be cold I really hope all of you have an amazing New Year's Eve celebration whatever you are doing I hope you have a really good New Year's Eve remember to join me back here tomorrow for New Year's Day because I'm going to be doing a video then as well so if you want to catch up Maybe if any of you are going out to a party and tomorrow you're gonna to feel a bit delicate, then come and hang out and join me because I will probably be feeling the same way. Thank you all again and happy 2018.